hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Laifa if you are stopping by for the first time welcome so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I pack up my makeup kits for when I'm going for work outside of my studio so if that's something that you'll be interested in watching then keep on watching all right guys so now it's time for the show and tell portion of this video and the first thing I'm going to mention is that I got these pouches from unicorn pouches this video is not sponsored in any way but like here in nigeria they're the only ones i know i don't know of any other brand that does pouches but i've used their pouches for years like at least three years they come in different sizes the bigger sizes i think they cost four thousand naira i'm not exactly sure and then the smaller sizes cost two thousand naira i'm going to start with this pouch and this pouch contains let me open it up for you guys to see. So this video is not exactly a show and tell video. I'm not going to be bringing out every single product in every pouch. I don't want this video to be long. So in this pouch, I have my fan. I have lashes. So I just pack lashes in different lengths and sizes, depending on what my clients would like. And my brushes are in here. I just have them in these brush containers. So that when I go there, I can just bring the containers out and keep it on the table so that I can easily reach for the brushes. So I have this one for the bigger sized brushes and this one for the smaller sized brushes. So I also carry this brush holder, but I usually keep this one in my ring light bag because it doesn't exactly fit in any of the pouches. Well, it does, but like... It's, it's really my aesthetic. <laughs> I use this to keep dirty brushes. So when I use a, a brush, I keep it in here so that my assistant can be cleaning and putting it back in here. I have different brushes in here. Brushes from Nuban Beauty, JSOP, Evita Joseph, White Glam. Those are actually the only brushes in here. Okay, I have some from Huda Beauty. So that's it for this pouch. So my next pouch contains my skin prep products. So in here I have Moco Spirit. So this is what I use to clean my brushes. I just have it in a spray bottle and I use it to spray to clean my brushes while I'm working. And then I have beauty sponges in here. I know this is funny. <laughs> I have it in a ziplock. And then I have some in here. These ones are from Aleo by Chloe. And this one is being warm. So I just have my sponges in there. This is basically skin prep bag. So wipes, my cellar water, setting sprays, skin prep basically, primers, glow sprays, glow, like you know, then lip lip primer. This lip primer is from TM Essential. Primers, basically, setting sprays. All my sprays. All my sprays. Setting sprays, finishing sprays, primers. So that's what's in this bag. Then I also have my mixing tray where I mix foundations, concealers, and all that good stuff. This soap is what I used to clean my beauty sponges. This soap is amazing. Like, you see how my, my beauty sponges, they look like they are brand new. Like, it cleans them thoroughly. It doesn't leave soap inside. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Like you know how you wash beauty sponges and things are still very soapy. This doesn't do that. It's from Top Glam, not sponsored, but this product since I discovered it, ah, I haven't gone back. I just realized that I've never actually tried using it on brushes. I should try it. Maybe it will work for brushes. You never know, guys. This product is from Coco by Chloe, and it's amazing. It's, it's really awesome. The next set of pouches I'm going to be showing you guys are foundation pouches. These are my foundations. I work with different skin tones, ranging from dark to lighter to medium skin people. So I just have different foundations to cater for every single person I can come across. Nigerian brands, these new beauty foundations are awesome. This one's a new find that, that is amazing. Like I'm wearing this one right now, actually. Then Julian Spoons, Nas, you guys already know. <laughs> yeah. No one thing. Foundation. V Beauty is another amazing foundation. You guys know I like to mix my foundations. So I'm just mixing different variety of foundations. 
Oh, and this is another amazing foundation. This NYX Born to Glow foundation is awesome. I like the smaller pouches because you see how it's small, everything is together. Before I used to use big ones, I used to use the big sized ones, but I realized that they used to scatter and pour a lot. But now that it's in smaller pouches, they are more together, so they don't move around. So fill the foundations. <laughs> Basically, it would have been too bad. <laughs> they need to come and make me the ambassador in Nigeria at this point because I'm sure, comment in the comment section below, I'm sure a lot of people know about their products from me. Y'all better make me your ambassador. So this pouch is my concealer pouch. So in this pouch, I have my concealers, my contour palettes. So right here are my Kevin O'Quan concealers. These are my Holy Grail concealers. In here, I also have different concealers ranging from Nuban Beauty. So these are my Huda Beauty contour palette. Then this one is filled with black opal stick foundations that I deported. So I just have the names written on there so I can tell which particular shade I'm going for. And this is from V Beauty. I've never actually used this, but it's just there. Next up is my powder bag. I remember the very first time I had a class stand her brows and I saw her MAC pouch like this. I was like, God, when? God, when? Sometimes you just, you're, you're ungrateful. You're thinking of things that you don't have yet that you want to have. And you, you forget about the days that you prayed for what you have now. And you just, just can't help but just thank God and feel grateful. So if you're looking at this, my video, and thinking, oh my God, God, when, God, when, it's coming. It's coming just be consistent keep at it trust god trust the process i've been doing makeup since 2014. trust me 2014 2015 2016 2017 i wasn't able to afford all this stuff for. i think it was like 2019 2020 imagine so that's how many years of consistency so don't think that i go here overnight so yeah, this is my powder bag. These are like my Holy Grail powders. I love them. Iman powders, Sephora. This is a new find. I have two different types of Sephora powders. This, the new one, and this one, and they are amazing. Especially this one. Like I, this one is. This one reminds me of Makeup Forever. This one is awesome. And I wasn't even supposed to buy this one. I was trying to buy this one and I ended up ordering this one. But it turns out to be amazing. It is a staple product for years and years. Like, it's a staple. I usually use it for contour, for darker skin tones. This Maybelline Cacao, this powder is amazing. Staple products. These are cream blushes from TM Essential. I haven't tried them yet, I just got them. So in here I have highlighters. So these are the Beauty by AD highlighters. These highlighters are bomb. Bomb.com. I have a couple of Nuban Beauty powders in here. Then I have certain powders in here. You guys already know my Holy Grail Nuban Beauty highlighter. Nuban Beauty setting powder, Flawless IV. Oh, these powders are amazing. Beauty by AD setting powders. They are holy grail products so yeah that is it for this bag next up is my lip bag i don't know how to arrange lip bag <laughs> in this life i came to just toss it in there next up is my eyeshadow bag so different eyeshadows and i also have cutting boards or oh, as we makeup artists like to call it q-tips in here this is the only place it could fit. So different eyeshadows, Zikel. Oh my god, this palette is one amazing palette it's by Nigerian brand. So freaking pigmented. This is where I get most of my pink shades. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, Shane Williams. This is another amazing palette. I already have one that amazing. This one is new. Mood Beauty. You guys already know how I feel about Mood Beauty eyeshadow palettes. These are not my first. <laughs> I've run out of like one of each of these palettes, and I always buy this one, especially for this orange shade. I love this orange shade so much. <laughs> oh my god, this is the first PR package that Huda Beauty ever sent to me. Like, I cried that day. I was so emotional. I was so freaking emotional that day. 
Urban Beauty, Lydia Stanley. You guys already know. This is how cute this palette. Like, I've used the life out of it. I need a new one. <laughs> I've scattered this palette. My God. Lady V, Mood Beauty Blush Palette. Mood Beauty Highlighter. This, this is another amazing eyeshadow palette that I love from Zikel. Nuban Beauty, oh, this is another palette I love, 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 this color especially. One, two, three are my favorite shades in this palette. Then, Zikel Blush Palette, V Beauty Powder Palette, this is my favorite powder palette, and Nuban Beauty Eyeshadow. Next up is this small pouch. It actually came with one of my Huda Beauty PR packages. So in here, <laughs> Actually, I hate this is my my it's nine cosmetics gloss because this tree I've always stealing it. I hid it here. So in this bag, I have my lash glue. Everyone that keeps asking me the lash glue I use. I know people will come come for me, but like tested and trusted. I've tried so many, and this one I still go back to this because it's so reliable. If a bride likes, let her cry on her wedding day. This their lash don't go anywhere, and your lashes will last longer if. I feel like lashes last longer with this one because it can just literally peel out the glue and reuse it without ruining the lashes. In here, I have my brow pomades. I need to buy new brow pomades for Mega and Esther. <laughs> They've even made a new container. I'm still using these old ones. My Inglo Gel Liner staple products. Tim Essential Brow Wax staple products. Ben 9 Clown White staple products. My, my pencils, my black pencils, my glitter glue, Inglo Dura line. I usually use this Nubank Beauty glue for my rhinestones, my Yanga Beauty brow tints. I also use this one for my rhinestones. So, yeah, this press has my pencils. So, pencils, tweezer, that's what's in here. Then in here, last least, is my glitter bag, glitter pigments. They are all in here. That's what's in here. I don't know what to do about glitters and pigments, no matter what you do. Even as I got a tight bag so they're not moving around, it will still pull. Like, it gets so messy real quick. All right, guys, so I know you guys are going to laugh at me. But I actually use a luggage, a box to pack my makeup. I've tried using makeup boxes, but like they never fit in everything that I want in one bag. I'll now have to carry separate, separate boxes or bags rather to fit everything. So I'd rather just have everything in one bo box. So don't know about my box. It's makeup, makeup stains. No matter what you do, makeup stains. So the box is very stained inside. So don't laugh at me. The box is stained. I'm not going to spray it to you because. <laughs> it thin is stained. So I just arrange them from the biggest sizes. Then I also Carry um, paper towel. So, so, this, so, 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 even if I'm making up 100 people, mm -hmm. I have everything I need in this one luggage. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm traveling, mm -hmm. I just wrap it when I'm traveling. So yeah, this is how I pack my makeup. But sometimes I use a smaller box. Depending on the makeup job I'm going for, I'll just take the things I need, fit it in pouches and put it in a smaller box. It just all depends on the work. And that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. People have been asking me to do this video for a while. 
So I said to just do it today. So yeah, I'm a makeup artist, in case you don't know. That's what I do for a living. I make up brides, anything, anywhere in the world. Wanna take me to America? I'm gonna come and do your makeup. <laughs> so yeah, I travel wherever. I'm a freelance makeup artist. And I also have a makeup studio where I do makeup. So you can walk in, you can book your appointments via DM, phone calls, WhatsApp, email. I'm gonna leave everything in my description box below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.